Yo. Nice of you to join us. Good have you. Okay, I'll try and. Uh, oh, you can't zoom on this, can you? All right. Well, anyway. So you see that big mountain, uh, this one here, all right? Just there is that kind of shaded out stuff. You can't see it very well on this camera. But down there, right on the coast, is where we started, okay? So, we've come quite a long way, which is fantastic. Uh, we have a bit further to go, also fantastic. It's so peaceful out here. And it's also so quiet. Hear that bird. <clears throat> so, let's talk about, briefly, before I cut off, um, the importance of taking step after step, day after day, is natural as we progress towards a goal, or a destination to have doubts, okay? Um, everyone has them, and most people try and get rid of them, you know, get rid of the anxiety, get rid of the doubts, when actually it's completely human and natural to have doubts and anxieties. The trick is to, that I've found is, A, be aware of it, be objectively aware of it, of the doubts, of the anxiety. You don't have to identify with it, you know, it's not, that feeling isn't you. It's kind of, it's just a feeling, you know. It, it's something you experience, but it doesn't define you. So therefore you can choose to let it dictate your actions and ultimately how you, how you continue to feel, or you can choose another course of action. Um, and building on that, it stems out of an attachment to the outcome. And an attachment to the outcome is also natural. And if I say, don't be attached to the outcome, then you're gonna be attached to the outcome of not being attached to the outcome. <laughs> so, the way to go, really, is just to accept everything as it is, you know? So, everything is, exact, is exactly as it should be, guys. You, everything is happening exactly as it should. We can't control the outcome. What we can control is each action now. And at the end of the day, all there is, is the present moment. And so, when we release attachment from, to, to the outcome, and we focus our attention on our intention and the present moment, we have what we call a practice, a goalless practice, where you do something just for the sake of doing it. Now, this is where true peace, fulfillment, enjoyment, liberation comes from. Um, finding a skill, finding something that you'd like to dedicate a, a significant amount of time to. And then just doing it for the sake of it. Not doing it to feel good, not doing it to, to reach some kind of outcome. Just doing it for the sake of it. Doing it as a celebration of life itself. <sighs> Doing it as an expression of jubilant energy. Joyous energy, as Alan Watts would say. So, when shit gets haywire, shit hits the fan, things go a bit hectic, and you're not sure about, oh, am I gonna reach the destination? Am I gonna reach the destination in time? Just bring your attention back to the present moment and take, take each step.
and that way you will find much more enjoyment and you will also find much more fulfillment and ultimately you will be more likely to reach your goal because a goal or destination is made up comes about as a result of many moment to moments many moments many small actions taken day after day month after month with consistency enthusiasm enjoyment and intensity and to do that find something you enjoy to do find something you love to do just for the sake of it not to do anything else find something that you enjoy for the sake of doing it and then you will naturally take the actions that will lead to a destination that you will find more desirable as well peace